Let's discover one of the most significant monuments of Imperial China's religious, cultural, and regal legacy. Situated in the central part of Beijing, the Imperial Temple of Heaven is the pinnacle of Chinese architecture and an enduring tribute to China's dynastic past's religious and cultural ambiance. The Temple of Heaven has been a World Heritage Site since 1998. It is significant for its architectural and landscape excellence and its symbolic importance on architecture and planning in the Far East over the centuries. The complex is spread over two and a half square kilometers. Every inch is a testament to the sacred relationship between heaven and earth a cosmological commandment held in high esteem at its construction. The burning stove is one piece of evidence of the importance of sacrifice within the Xing dynasty's theological thought and its interplay with the prosperity of the empire. The design philosophy of the buildings in the temple complex is a mixture of circles and squares, signifying that heaven is circular and earth is square. Heaven's peculiar structure and vividly symbolic layout make it a profoundly interesting feat of architecture. From the make of materials to the setting of structures, every detail complements the ancient Chinese belief system and the plans of this unique complex. The circular mound altar is a three-layered altar made of marble in 1530. The altar was used for the annual winter solstice ceremony and by the emperor to make supplications for good weather. The slabs forming the circular altar are laid in multiples of nine, a number representing nine heavens and eternity.
atop the mound altar, the heavenly center stone is the culmination of this representation. The particular placement of the stone within the circular mound makes up for some spooky acoustic phenomena where the sound bounces off multiple times from the wall back to the center stone. The acoustic marvels of the Temple of Heaven complex are also discernible at the Echo Wall. The Echo Wall encases the Imperial Vault of Heaven. The polished brick wall acts like a drum through which sound can be transmitted far and wide. The Imperial Vault of Heaven is one of the most eccentric wooden structures of the temple complex. Its magnificent dome is supported on 16 pillars and numerous unbellished brackets. The Imperial Vault housed the God's tablets used in the harvest prayer ceremony. It is located between the Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests and the circular mound altar. The fantastic complexity of the vault work is enough to amaze the viewer. The vault's interior is even more breathtaking because of its coffered ceiling and glazed marble work. surround the vault in the east and west. The West Annex Hall served as a warehouse for securing relics such as divine stone tablets of attending gods of moon, clouds, rain, and wind. The hall's architecture resembles the imperial vaults. Yet, its functional nature is unmissable from plain yellow murals on the wall. The Imperial Vault is linked to the Hall of Prayer by a 360 meters long masterpiece of masonry 
the Danby Bridge. The bridge is 29 meters wide and rises higher at its northern end. Once a path for emperors to tread from the vault to Hall of Prayers, the bridge is still very regal in its bespoke large stone strips and its splendid tri-gated pavilion entrance. The Temple of Heaven broke ground in the early 15th century as a dedicated worship place for the emperors of China, who were the anointed Sons of Heaven. The emperors represented divine authority, and for the appeasement of the spiritual authority, a fitting architectural tribute was constructed and expanded by the Xing and Ming emperors of China. Appeasement was manifested in the form of sacrifices. The Temple of Heaven served as the home and host for all these ceremonies. The most important was the annual prayer for a good harvest. The apogee of this ceremony was a meticulously choreographed winter solstice prayer by the Emperor on the Earthly Mount. The ceremony's precision was a matter of grave consequence for the whole nation. The temple's vivid symbolism is a befitting complement to the exacting nature of ancient China's religious paradigm and the emperor's ceremonial duties within that strict schema. The temple was opened to the public in 1918 as a park and a cultural heritage site. The regal and religious backdrop of this architectural classic made it a favorite among tourists, not only from mainland China, but from around the world. The decorative aspect of the temple complex combines the natural features of its geography with the creative excellence of its planners and builders. The aim was to amplify the ceremonial spirit of the temple's existence, and the Hall of Prayer is a suitable proof of this spirit. The Hall of Prayer for Good Harvests is the epitome of Chinese architectural brilliance. 
The earliest structure of the temple complex, the Hall of Prayers, is one of the world's most significant medieval wooden structures. Initially square and named the Hall of Great Sacrifice, the Hall of Prayers was redesigned as circular and renamed in 1545. The hall is 38 meters tall and 36 meters wide, built entirely without nails. Twenty-eight large pillars support the three-tiered roof. The twenty-eight columns are in three concentric rings. Four central pillars represent the seasons, twelve inner columns represent the months, and twelve outer columns represent the twelve two-hour periods that made up a day in Chinese cosmology. The hall is built on a three-tiered mound of marble stone, and the brief trek towards the hall is every bit transformative as one can expect from the builders of this heavenly structure. Along with the Forbidden City, the Temple of Heaven is the most representative of China's architectural zenith. The Temple of Heaven is even more distinctive since it employs the whole intellectual gamut of Confucian theocracy and Chinese cosmogony. The triple gables of Hall's Dome became one of Beijing's truly beloved landmarks. Like all buildings of the complex, it is adorned with blue tiles signifying the color of heaven. The religious iconography splashed all over the structure creates an atmosphere of getting closer to heaven. And once you step inside the hall, this feeling flutters through your senses.
The interior of the hall is a masterpiece of wood frame construction. The whole structure is a wooden maze of finely balanced columns and rafters with no beam or support. The blue-hued glazing adds a celestial charm to the interior and glows with heavenly shine. Adjacent to the Hall of Prayers is the Imperial Hall of Heaven. The Imperial Hall of Heaven is connected with the Altar for Grain Prayers by three glazed doors. The signature blue glaze covers the roof of Imperial Hall. The Imperial Hall was used to consecrate divine tablets and relics of the Emperor's ancestors. The Imperial Hall was the first stop in the Emperor's long schedule of annual prayers. All tablets were stored here and transferred to their respective places on the ceremony day. For the Temple of Heaven, it is a matter of immense pride that it has hosted religious ceremonies for over 400 years and more than 29 emperors. The Temple is a beloved legacy of China's vibrant culture and history for the contemporary Chinese. The modern hotspot for cultural events in downtown Beijing Zaiden is close to the ancient Temple of Heaven, stringing together the custom of ritual practices from medieval past to technological present. Zaiden is a legacy of the Ming Dynasty and its cultural square is the largest venue for cultural events in Beijing. The thriving city center is a harmonious reminder of its once regal past.